So on our way home from spring break, we decided to make a stop at Chimney Rock. Here we came into Chimney Rock Village in North Carolina and the scenery was absolutely beautiful. So we had to stop and take a picture. But this is us driving into the Chimney Rock area. Tag along with us as we create and go on adventures, because really, isn't life an adventure? As we're driving, we are passing by Lake Lure, and I don't know what happened this year, and maybe this is normal, but it was so dried out. There's you will see in these next few Lake clips. Lure? Well, what's supposed to be Lake Lure? Completely dried out. So this is just the drive up to the entrance of Chimney Rock, which is a state park. We don't the scenery the is here. beautiful. So I am not a fan of that happens? road. But just wait, this isn't all when of it. Happens. So I did a time lapse here of this part so you can see the beautiful scenery, but it didn't take as long. I think it took us almost five to seven minutes to get from the road up to the actual entrance of the state park. Not gonna lie, I was hoping we were not gonna see any cars on our way on this road because it was not very wide. Sometimes we had to pull off to the side a little bit to let the other car pass, but you're on a mountain. That other side drops off fast, so I was a nervous wreck. I really don't like these roads. But here we are coming up to the entrance of the state park. Bus and RV? Yeah, no, we're not either of those. <laughs> okay, you guys, so here we are. We've just gotten into the actual state park itself. And as you're driving in, you're seeing all this beautiful scenery. The mountain that you're going to be visiting right. is right ahead of you. You come up this path, you take a right, you're going to the mountain, but you could also go straight here and visit the restrooms that are right there. They were really clean and nice restrooms, so that's a bonus. And then as you're driving along this path, you're also going to see like a visitor center learning building. They have different critters there that you can go and learn about and find in their habitats and that kind of thing, which is really cool. But guess what we're on again? Yeah, we're on a road with a lot of switchbacks here coming up. Again, it took us seven minutes from the park entrance to the top of the mountain where you start your hike if you choose to start up there. So, and it's really not the top of the mountain, but it's the parking area up there. You can start down here at the bottom and start on that trail, but we got to the park late, so we had more limited time. So we had to make the most of our time, so we started up top. But again, more switchbacks. My anxiety was through the roof, y'all. But I'm gonna speed up here so you can still see the scenery, but then catch you back up at the top. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're finally getting to the end of the switchbacks and we're pulling into the lower parking lot. We kept going to the upper parking lot on the other side of that stone wall. So here we are at the start of our climb at Crevice Pass. Watch your head. Ooh. Tight squeeze. Actually, tight lean. Yeah. <laughs> no puppies here doing puppy lean, though. Back at home. I don't think she would enjoy this path that much. Well, I bet she would. Yeah. But she'd have to be kept on tight leash. Yeah. And up all the Lots steps. Lots of stairs. We go. Well, it's less than less. True. So we're here at an impasse. We can go to Vista Rock Grotto Subway. So oh, I choose a path with Jimmy. And so we're taking Grotto and Subway. And we are taking Vista Rock and we'll meet you up at uh, Chimney Rock. Before we go any further, we're so high that the cars look like toys. See no, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, up we go. So here we are at the Vista, I believe. I think that is Chimney Rock. Very high, high, high. So, Austin. Yeah. How high is it? Uh, I uh maybe five hundred feet. Uh, super high, right? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going higher. And that is a bridge up there between the trees. I think we're going straight up. And up we go. Let's see if we can find Mom and Evan, right? Uh huh. Lots and lots of steps, but a gorgeous view all the way around. Yeah. Mini version of my day. I think I hear them. I guess we beat you guys. So how is the grotto? We took time to actually look at the guy. All right, we are headed down to the subway. Nice and easy.
Whoa. Check this out. The entrance to the subway. This is not very tall at all. Look at there. Couple spots you cannot even stand up, Austin. I can stand up. And about. So it's less than 54 inches in some spots. 56, less than 56 inches. Ow. Now That's pretty cool. So nice, huge steel structures anchored into the rock everywhere. Now the elevation is 2,080 feet. Sorry, 2,280 feet. So I don't know if it is always this windy up here on Chimney Rock, but it was crazy windy and loud this day. But really, you can't beat that view. So here's the big map all the different little outcroppings and everything else. There is a wonderful view. So Austin and Chris decided to extend their hike. They went up even higher. There's a place called Devil's Head and Exclamation Point. So they're off to Devil's Head first. Sticking off the side of the rock. That's pretty cool. So we're, we're starting to go this way. And this part of the area is closed if there is ice. It is open today, so let's do it. The view is gorgeous from up here. It is uh, a little treacherous with some of these boulders and stuff sticking out. Yeah. Now let's see. And right there's Mom and Evan. Way down there. So the path up to exclamation point is a lot more stairs and the trail, as you saw in the previous clip, can be closed due to ice and that's because the trail is much more rugged there's rocks there's logs there's points where you can see the water pooling which is obviously where the you're gonna get ice but if you're gonna do the exclamation point trail make sure you are physically ready to do that trail let me take the camera okay The uh, rock is all wet because the water is just running down. Kind of looks like there's more switchbacks here. Alright Austin, yeah. we are here at exclamation point. And how is it? Super cool up here. Awesome view. Quite windy today, but we are at 2,480 feet. And you can and, go a bit higher up there. Yep, and there's a little bit more to go up. Well, we are up here at the Skyline Trail area, and unfortunately, it's closed right now. But that would have made an extremely awesome view around the top to Hickory Nut Falls to be able to see everything. 
So we've hiked up to the top, and then we took the elevator down, and this is the tunnel coming out of the elevator, out of the side of the mountain. We're in the mountain. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was waiting for it. <laughs> so we're headed to Animal Discovery Den. No, it's going towards you. It's oh, yeah, it is. Hey. an albino corn snake? Yeah. Oh, there's another snake. Mom, there's a corn snake right here with his head poking out. Oh. Come here. Here's a king, king, eastern king snake. Mom. Right up against the glass. I'll be right there, Austin. I'm Looks stuck like back he's here. Burrowing. So we ended our visit in the animal den, which is that learning center I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Right down on that way. Ah, uh, that's cool. This is a gray tree frog. What is it? It's a corn snake. It's sticking out of the tube. If you liked the video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe buttons. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. So this is the grotto. Had to end the video with one last amazing view. This is the grotto, the path that Evan and I took. We hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. And here's the view.